Hello and welcome to another hacking video. My name is Ed. In the last few videos we've been looking at reverse shells and I thought why not do a video on using evil WinRM. There are many ways to skin a cat, uh, many ways to get low hanging fruit and I thought let's try this out. So evil WinRM, if you have the port is open number one and number two if you have valid credentials in, in our case we have. Yes this is a lab. Um, but I still have valid credentials. I wanted to show you that what I was doing with a reverse shell, you can also do with Evil WinRM. So Evil WinRM is on Kali, if you're running a Kali distribution. If you're using Linux, you can install it. Uh, if you're using Paradise, I'm sure you can use it too, or if you have to install it, you can just install it. So the command is evil winrm minus i. i gives you the option to specify the IP address, and then minus u is the username. Now you'll see that I've got the domain slash username in inverted commas because it doesn't detect it, it gives you an authorization error. Just for those that are new to this. Um, and then the password is the same, minus p, and then the password in uh, inverted commas. It does take a few seconds to connect. Uh, in exams, I've used this as well. Uh, it's a lot slower, it takes a lot longer to connect, but hopefully with this one, it'll be pretty quick. So before we start, just wanna let you know, I have permission to do this. This is my lab. Always remember, get permission to do any form of hacking. Otherwise, this class is unethical. Right, let's go ahead and enter this game. Okay. So, as you can see, I've got a successful connection to my Exchange server with the credentials passed. And I'm going to go to the folder or the directory where I'm running Mimikit. Or where Mimikit is stored, should I say. So here you can see I call it birds and I've got Mimikit at exe, I've got PowerUp as well. So what we can do is we can copy this and import module and then specify the name and it should import and then all we do is we run this again which should technically give us the hashes on the machine and you can see that it's pretty stable. Uh, I had a few issues in one of my exams where I kept on losing connection and I had to go back in and eventually got what I was looking for. So we just give this a couple of seconds. And we should have a nice output of what we're looking for. And you'll see that obviously the it's a working OSS with a you know even when RM is working, so it takes you back to the same PowerShell command prompt that you were at initially when we started. So while we're waiting, you can see we have power up for those that are doing CRTP in it. You know, power up is one of the places to find um, some low hanging fruit, if you want to call it that. Right. So there you go. As you can see, there's the hashes. I'm not going to scroll away to the top because it's just too much information. You can see how long the scroll bar is. But just wanted to show you that there's another tool you can use. There's many other tools as well that you can use to do the similar or same kind of things. I just thought of giving Evil when I ever try because I know it works um, sometimes if it's the ports are not blocked. And it's amazing what you can do with uh, Evil when I am. Um, there's a URL book.hacktricks.xyz, which has a very nice write-up on uh, WinRM and Evil WinRM, et cetera, and what you can do. Um, and obviously you can also download information through this. Um, again, just remember it might be slower for you. It might be faster. It depends on how jacked up your environment is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.